My name is Zhang Li and I am an international student from, from South Korea. I came to the United States um, summer of 2010. Well, I first applied to different colleges, but I couldn't get enough fund. So um, I, I have my relative living nearby, which is the reason I chose to came to Northlake College. Also, well, my family situation, I have two biological sisters above me, and currently I have five adoptive brothers who are two, three, five, four, five years old, soon to have number six coming along. So with all the big family situation, my parents, they can't support me to go to 40 grand private university, so I chose to come to community college. Community college at first, I did not expect that much. I just thought I'll get my credits and then go, go to a four-year school and start my new life there. But it turned out to be a very different experience. As I got more involved in student activities, because I got really bored of my classes because it wasn't that hard and I want to do something more. And as an international student, I can't work out of campus. So I had to do something to get energized. So I started to look for organizations and I joined Student Government Association, Phi Theta Cap Honor Society, and then I assumed responsibility and all those activities gave me so many energy, opportunities to learn different leadership qualities, skills, and grow as a leader. So, that, so far my experience in community college has been really awesome. It's opened so many doors for me. It's, gave, it's given me opportunities that I wouldn't have gotten in anywhere else. I found out America is a place of opportunity. If you go and seek it, you will get it. But if you just stay there, then no one will come to you. They might, but you know, you have to go and look for it and get it, achieve it, work hard for it, and you'll earn it. So that is my short story of how I am so far. <laughs> uh, I started a couple of years ago, uh, mostly because when I, uh, I'm a little bit older, uh, I, I, after high school, I just joined the workforce uh, needed to start making a check and paying bills and supporting myself. Uh, so I never got a chance to really get involved in college. And then a few years ago, um, I had lost a management job and I found that it was next to impossible to, to get back in. Uh, I ended up having, you know, seven years of management experience that didn't get me anything. Uh, I had to. I ended up getting offers to start at the bottom again, so I, I got I got frustrated and I got nervous and and I, I just made the decision that I just didn't want this to be l the rest of my life. I didn't want to just jump between similar jobs and never go anywhere. I, I felt in my heart that I was better than that. So, um, so I took the I, I took the opportunity to try to. Uh, joined the nursing program at uh, college, community college, which was right down the street from my work. Uh, the hours, you know, my work hours were, were very flexible when it came to going to class. So, um, so I started that and I found, much like Zhang, I found that, you know, once I got started, you know, it, it came a lot easier than I thought it was going to. And I, I don't, really never found, figured out why. I was just like, I don't think I'm this smart, you know. I <laughs> just, I think what it ended up being was that all these years of management experience and all this work experience ended up making the class taking a lot easier. And, it, and, and the coursework and the homework and, you know, you just had this ability to, to prioritize and everything and uh, and it, it was it was a really really good feeling and a really kind of a rush and then when I got the opportunity to join the honor society uh, the Phi Theta Kappa you know I that just turned into something else I was you know I had years of management experience so why not try to run for a, a chapter officer position well I did and I got elected president and so now I had all these other you know kids that were younger than me and some that were older than me and you know and, and I was I was in charge I was leading them and I was finding that all this stuff that I had learned that I would just kind of accumulated as useless work knowledge all of a sudden it was it was it was relevant again and you know it, it, it was just such a it was such an empowering uh, empowering opportunity and experience for me I am an international student from Vietnam. 
Um, my dream has been written since I was 17. I left home uh, to the um, to become a foreign exchange student, and I spent a whole year with uh, the American host family. It's really interesting as far as culture shock. I uh, was able was able to experience a lot of different things like weather, culture, language, um, and. Uh, and then the snow in Washington State. So I decided uh, the next stop to be Texas because, you know, tropical, just like Vietnam. So that is <laughs> one of the first reasons, uh, like one of the biggest reasons why I chose Texas and North Lake Community College. Um, having that uh, said, I was able to um, expose to the American culture uh, when I was with my host family. So all, all of the family members, most of them, they, they went, uh, they have a bachelor degree, very well educated, uh, but their very first two years was uh, they spent in the community college, and they were the one that mentored me uh, and tell me all the benefits com uh, between the community college and the university. Uh, the third reason was uh, I have a financial uh, my family have a financial problem, so I don't want to, you know, just waste it, uh, just waste the money for the first two years uh, while you're doing the same thing, even though you can do better in the community college. So I just graduated um, the Associate in Science last fall with a 4.0. I just got accepted in Baylor, uh, Baylor College of Dentistry for uh, the uh, dental hygiene program. So. When I first came here, I went to international orientation, and they were talking about go to Phi Theta Kappa, you'll get a scholarship. I'm like, scholarship? Okay, Phi Theta Kappa, so how can I join? And as soon as I got the qualification invitation, 3.5, I joined it. Well, before that, I went to several trips within Phi Theta Kappa, Texas region, and it was fun. I got to make new friends. I was still a member. but. As I got a little bit more involved, I was thinking, should I make this commitment? It is, I can see the, cur the previous officers having a huge time commitment, not only time, energy, and a lot of their, their life was, a lot of their life was in Phi Theta Kappa. And I was thinking, should I make this commitment or not? I, for the whole semester, I was thinking whether I should run for a position for the next year, which is this year. And after consulting with advisors, friends, previous officers, different people, I decided, you know, I'll just try. Because um, I, I had a tendency of avoiding things. If it got too hard, I tried to take another route and avoid it somehow. So I could not face that difficulty. But I, this time I decided, okay, I'm just going to do it, make this decision make this commitment and do it. So I ran for the chapter president. It was not easy. It was definitely not easy. But as a chapter president, it was member to chapter president. So I had no experience of being an officer before, but I had so many helps from advisors, fellow officers, and they have been the great, great support for me. And I was able to great lead a great team with their help and make this team so successful. Also, I got so many opportunities, like today, I got to present in front of all those important people, and I have this huge stage fright, and I'm, I'm doing that, and I just can't believe how much I grew out of this whole experience, academically, in a leader's perspective, and communication, interpersonal skills, all those skills I, I was able to gain as being a Phi Theta Kappa president. Also, this honor society does so many good to the community, which is one of the main reasons I decided to be more committed to. We do two big projects, honors in action project, which serves the community, and college project, which serves the school. So it's about using your academic, academic skills, using what you learn, and then, and then apply it to service and serve your surroundings and that is the mission of my life. I want to help the people who are around me and that has been awesome. It, was, it has been an awesome experience. I was never a great student in high school. I mean I was always 
above average, but you know, I never, I always had something else to worry about, you know, either sports or, or you know, doing something else. But you know, for for once, I finally uh, was motivated uh, to to actually go to school to get good grades, not just to have it be a social experiment. But uh, once once I started joining or started with Phi Theta Kappa, you know, I, I was a member. And they had officer elections like four weeks later after after I got inducted to it. And just the way I am naturally, I was like, yeah, I can be a president. Why not? Why not? I'll just run out. So I ran in there and, you know, I, I was elected the chapter president. And uh, about a month later, I was kind of wishing I had reconsidered or at least waited a little because, yeah, I mean, it is, it's, it's really intense. And it's really, it really puts you in a position to where, you know, you're, you're, you gotta work. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna do stuff and it's, and it's gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna really put you to the test as far as what you've learned in the classroom and can you apply it to a real world situation. And, you know, as, as I started getting better at it, I started getting better at, you know, figuring out how to do it myself, but I also started figuring out how to lead the rest of my chapter, uh, to do it, you know, to, to, get the same things done and then you know as the year progressed I was still enjoying it I, mm -hmm. we still were doing well and at the end of the year we our, our chapter decided to run for a regional office and we won and then all of a sudden now I was not just the president of my chapter but I was the the vice president of all 19 chapters in our area mm -hmm. and so it, it just took that that one you know that one experience and it just blew it up even bigger and I, I got to be honest, I mean, it's, it's probably the best experience of my life. Like, never have I put so much work into something and actually felt good about the end result. You know, usually it's you go to work, you clock in, you do your job for the day, you go to lunch, you come back, you go home, you sleep, and you do it again the next day, and it just gets monotonous and repetitive. But this, this actually felt like work that I was doing that was benefiting something. And, I, and when I got home from a service event, a service activity, or, or honors project, I actually felt like, you know, that two hours made more difference in the world than this 40 hour work week that I just mm -hmm. put in. And it was such a good feeling. Yeah. And from that point on, I decided, you know, I, I, I made the conscious effort to, to get involved in as much service as I possibly could. And that's gonna be a part of my life from this point on. And, and that's never going to go away. And I, I have Phi Theta Kappa to thank for that. Just be responsible for your life. Just do what you love. You, like, a career, a, a, a job was, is going to be the thing that you, you go along for the whole life. It's not something that you just, as Mike said, you, you don't just clock in, clock out, and then go home. It's something that you want to do and you love to do. Like uh, me personally, I I my, my dream career was being a dentist, and that is that is what I want to do. And and I know that every morning waking up uh, waking up in every morning, I would love to go to work or go to school, because that that just what you desire, it's just so much. And my advice is to um, everyone's every student is just do and just leap up to your dream and what you just love, honestly, sincerely. Those organizations you get involved with, it becomes your support system. When you get down, when you get frustrated, when you get overwhelmed, those are the people that will support you. And usually, um, I think it's in the research somewhere that student engagement, if you have more involvement, it directly um, directs to the student success. The students who are more involved, they tend to get more success out of their lives or something like that. So those people actually more supports you, encourages you, and you know, you get to find out different backgrounds, different stories from different people, and you get to see you're not alone. You're not the only one who's like that. Like I myself, I had a huge break between high school and college, and I had those period that I, I, I want to go back and get it over with and kind of regret but you know those moments might help someone else to you know think that oh she went through that and she still stood up and she is going her life 
and that will encourage someone else. And it is those organizations where you make friends and where you get those strong support system that makes you makes you move on, that motivates you, that helps you find your dream and your your way. So. <laughs> Have fun in college. <laughs>